Let's, let's get it. Get my volume. Now, Yay! We missed you. Honey and, witch hand. Just need to get some green and ham. And ham. Well, howdy there, partner. Ooh. What the? Who the fuck are? <laughs> Wait. No, I remember. You're that one who cheats death eternally. That inbred fuck from the oh. Empress children oh. that nearly killed Sunact. That's me. <laughs> and what was your name again? I am Azek Aruman, Lord of the Prodigal Sons, up and coming murderer of stars, up and coming, and the greatest sorcerer. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and I'm Lucius, the Eternal and the Luscious. Luscious. I think he used to be the Luscious. I think he used to be have be luscious but i don't think that's the case anymore that yeah no 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 <laughs> your very own infinite line yes code. oh okay so recently i learned out i le i knew that uh lucius the eternal he was just i was like oh okay he lives forever whatever and I was going through and I was looking at some Emperor's Children, just some of the ones listed in the Palatine Phoenix, and I I was like, oh, I, I don't remember hearing about this guy later on. What happened to him? And it's like, oh, he fought, he fought Lucius and he won. And I was like, oh, wow, well, why isn't he still around? Why isn't he uh, still alive? And then I heard the horrible thing about what happens to everyone who, uh, who uh, kills him. That was pretty messed up. I was like, oh my gosh, that's horrible. That's horrible. <laughs> Where Thanks the air thank you, Arrow Mage. <laughs> Where do I keep my spirit stone? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't have one. <laughs> yeah, fighting him is a losing battle either way. If you see him, run. Run. Or, like, wound him. Wound him heavily, but not enough for him to die, because then you're in a bad spot. But yes, I found out about that, and I was like, oh, that's awful. That's awful. Awful. Anyways, that was pretty bad. I was pretty bad, and I was like, oh, okay. So now I've learned a lot about him, and I am uh, respectfully uh, horrified. Horrified. Technically, the only way to kill him is via exterminatus and not know he was there. I think Slanesh would still find a way to mess you up for that. I still think. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get back to this now, but I just thought I'd share that, that I was, uh, I was like, oh, wait, well, if he killed that guy, well, why didn't he, why didn't he keep living? Oh, it's worse. And his face is like in his armor, which is horrible. Uh... All right, we're doing it now. Anyway, why the flying fuck with wings are you here? <laughs> well, I was on the way to Abby's party. The fact that he abbrevi abbreviates it to Abby, and that's like a girl's name, makes me laugh. <laughs> just like, <laughs> just, just like Abby, like, makes me think of a girl instead of Abaddon, even though that's exactly what he's going for. Yay. To stop this spaceport and spread merriment and joy to all the little boys and girls and the big boys and girls too. Oh no. What the shimmering shazbot is a slaneshmus? You don't know! The fact I'm asking should elucidate you to that. Well, prepare my hate! Ew! No. Oh. 
<laughs> that is so cursed. <laughs> No. Oh my gosh. It always catches me by surprise, but I shouldn't be surprised. This is going to be an episode full of references and innuendos, I'm sure. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, Abaddon's been called Abby for years now. I mean, I, I, it just sounds funny when they say it here because it's like, it seems like in a joking contest. Contest. Co context. Oh my gosh. I can't. I'm reading and trying to talk at the same time. You standing here, I assure you that my rectal area is quite well defended. See, this universe is a wondrous playground of agony, suffering, and beautiful misery, right? Okay. Well, Solanation loves to feast on the torment of all living things. Yeah, not just that, but all intense emotions. Up to the point! Uh -huh. for a change. So is Slanesh gonna feed off like the joy of people today? Is that is that what is that what he's doing? Just like everyone needs to be happy today, so Slanesh can have like a little dessert, just a little dessert, little taste, little taste of something different. <laughs> that that's what I'm thinking. The way the way he's setting this up. I can appreciate that sentiment. Yeah! So, get this! Us Slaneshis decided that, for a couple of weeks each year, we will celebrate Slaneshmas! And during this time, rather than the horrifying torturous fiends that spread suffering and torment, we will instead go around spreading jokes, yep, there it is. camaraderie, and smiles to all we can meet, so Slaanesh gets to taste their happiness. Nom 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 nom. Ah, so that the pain Slanesh will inevitably taste after Slanesh Mess is done will sting even more! <laughs> right, well, <laughs> I'll be honest with you. This gives me like uh, Nightmare Before Christmas vibes. By the way, not a huge fan of that movie. I'm just, eh, it's just weird and creepy to me. But it gives me Nightmare Before Christmas, where he delivers, uh, where Jack delivers like all the presents, and like he he has he's good intentioned about it, but like it ends up being like really creepy and horrifying things. That's what it like. That's what it like feels like to me. Like they'll be like ah oh, presents at the very end, but they like do bad things like after they've left and. I don't know, that's, it, that just, oh, it gives me that vibe. I'm not going to pretend that sounds like a good idea at all. I mean, if your goal is spreading happiness to people, you're clearly not <laughs> very good at it. <sighs> yeah, I know. Hmm. Are you going to help? You know what? I might have been hatching an idea here. Oh, no. Something I think you might even appreciate. Oh. Well, you see, I wanted a bit of a break from serious sorcering. Yes. Just to engage in some shenanigans. Since my last attempt on the Black Library. <laughs> Don't again, forget to get a library card. And I happen to know someone who possesses, well, a certain quite set of skills. Technology. Dare I say, fabulously. Oh no! <laughs> what are you talking about, old Bob? <laughs> yeah, I know him too. Intimately in fact. <laughs> of course you do. Nevertheless, yeah. I bet if we ask really nicely, he'll let us borrow his mass broadcasting relay. A system that can transmit data all across the galaxy on various wavelengths. I mean, he never uses it, reclusive bastard. Oh, oh so boy. we could use this to engage <laughs> in shenanigans. So you'll get that break you wanted, right? Yes. And we could use oh, this, it to uh... spread this 
Slaneshmus. Message of yours. This could only go all wrong. Across the galaxy. It would be quite special. Oh. So, what do you say? You know, I like you much better now, my blue balling friend. Suck! Give me the fuck up! Okay. Okay. I don't know why he called him um, a blue baller. I, I don't understand why, because there wasn't anything that, at least to my mind, uh, warranted that. I don't know. I'm, I'm, a little, I'm, I'm a little worried. I'm a little worried. But we've got it, chat. Lucius the Eternal, eternally making me worried about everything. Let's do it. <laughs> Who? Dear Adam, I have received your proposal. Is that the guy who was writing the fan fiction? Broadcasting relay, and I must admit. The whole idea seems completely ludicrous. It's appalling, horrifying, nonsensical. I so can't dark. Even begin to decipher what you and Lucius intend to make of it. It's just, just completely ridiculous. But he likes it. I can't believe that you think that working with him is a good idea. In addition to the fact that you have the audacity to suggest that I should help you in this endeavor, it only adds to the obscenity of it all. It looks like a spider. I don't know if that's... Like, I'm looking at it, I'm like, okay, it's got, like, spidery limbs, but, like, I can barely see and it's a person. So the only person that I know that's called, like, a spider is Fabius Bile, and I just can't tell because they called him Bob, but... I don't know. <laughs> like, that's not his name, so I'm not sure. Short. I fucking love the idea. Yes! I'll get the cogitators warmed up and the recap ready for your arrival. I can't wait to see the look on the faces of the inhabitants of the galaxy when we expose to them this complete mind. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be great. Warmest regards. <laughs> Put that on your email signatures. Yep, there it is. Okay, cool. If Lucius calls me Barb on live HB, I will knock him the fuck out. <laughs> so he doesn't like it either. I can I could absolutely agree with that. Okay, cool. Yes. Is is the bile boy. Sanguinala. Yeah. Oh no. It's a are they do a talk show. I like to think before each like before each like episode airs like if they're doing this live that he does that every time like they have to get a new desk a new chair he he goes and he kills three guys before the start of every show I think that would be really funny I think that would be really funny if they had to do that every time <laughs> there he goes Oh. oh no. Help! 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 He's gonna kill me! He's gonna kill me! What? How did you get in here? He's gonna kill me! <laughs> oh no, Who's poor kid. Speak up, child. The bald one! Lucius! Lucius gonna kill me! Oh no! <laughs> Been 
Bro, oh my gosh! <laughs> Oh look, they brought a new desk and chair back. Yay! <laughs> I didn't think you could ever get tired. What am I watching? Jim, get it? We get it. This is your idea of stamp. So, like, I actually met Han Solo the other day. Okay. A swell guy, actually. And we were just getting talking about his giant ring. Yes! Get him! Get him! I'm on HV! Pretty go! It's not your time yet! Oh, they plan for him to be part of this. This is going very well. This is going very well. I'm so sorry. He's got him in the armor holes. <laughs> He's got him in all the armor holes. That's hilarious. He getting high too. Get on my level, scrub. No, wait, did he just huff a book? He did! <laughs> Get on my level, scrub. Who was, uh, um, uh, who was the first guest again? I think it was. <laughs> They're both so. Oh. Oh, dang. So you only have one chair for your guests? Don't worry no, about it. Don't worry about it. Seriously, it's fine. Are you still worrying about it? I'm not. So, Miriam. Miriam. Very cursed sister of battle. Tell me. What's your box number? Oh, gosh. Question to open with. Uh, Lucius, get away from her. She she doesn't want to be with you, man. <laughs> yeah, she her, her armor is cool, even though chaos is bad. I hate it. That is kind of neat, though. Isn't this being broadcast live all across the galaxy? Yep. Then yeah, I'm not telling you. Yep. Yeah, no need to be stuck up about it. Yeah, no need for that. I'm not being stuck up. She's got teeth on her tongue. That's scary. Have no real thoughts on that. Would you be above copulating with Ah. Uh, bastards not taking me seriously. Raw. I am deadly serious. <laughs> Good. I'm so sick of people not respecting me. Not taking me seriously. I just. Ugh. Tell me more about that, dear. Sounds like. Go off. Go off. About it. Nobody understands me or believes me about who I am. Oh. So damn depressing and Edgy. infuriating. Uh -huh. And nobody takes me seriously either, you know? Uh -huh. Like, I never get the respect they deserve. I know that feeling. So tell me, what hand product do you use? Because hot damn girl, I need some of that! Oh, well, it's low. Wait, you don't have hair. Is that so? Yeah. Might be a touchy subject. <laughs> What? What? What the fuck is going on? Yeah. What? Apparently it's this Slaneshmas thing or some shit. What? It's Slaneshmas? And no one reminded me? Fuck! Now it all makes sense! <laughs> oh my. Everyone is all over the place. Get in! What are you watching? It's... I've man same. Just came on a few minutes ago and it's on, it's on all the channels 
I can find. Wait, is that Aramin? You know, one of these <laughs> bastard is my first captain. What is he playing at right now? From what ah. I can tell, trying to break everyone's minds of a crazy Hollywood show. Considering the general intelligence of everyone <laughs> in the Imperium, if that is his plan, it's probably working. The fact that I feel strangely entranced by this abomination. I, this is just all so messed up. Might be a sign of something going on. It's like that feeling when you see a jet bike crash and there are broken bodies oh. flying everywhere and you just can't look away even though you want to. Mmm. Uh, Crikey. Crikey, he just said... <laughs> the are overrated, you know? It's not like we need them or anything. We're, we're you. So, who's the next guest? Oh, no, don't let him read any of his story. Ugh. Uh. An overtly complex book fetishist brethren. It's a great honor to be invited to this magnanimous show I don't, you have created. I don't want him to the read Lucius's colon, book. The most pleasantly warm oh. by your generosity. Oh. Oh, that's disgusting. It's just a great convenience that we're all going to the same place, eh? Of course, my touchy-tentacled friend! So, tell us about this book you're writing! I've heard it's the latest part of the series! Quite so! No. It is called no. The oh. Puss of Man! Oh, God. Oh. And as much as the oh. rumors claim that, like the previous six volumes, it is merely a 700-page long oh. tome! Filled with pestilent paper, Ugh. covered in nothing but human feces. I can assure you that such Ugh. rancid rumors are nothing but fabrication. Let me guess. You filled it with Xeno excrement too? Oh no. Although later volumes might Oh my gosh, it. this is so gross. No, no, no. This volume Ew. shall be made from my own blistering excrement. Oh. Ew, ew, oh. You know, oh my gosh, this is. The three of us here, I can't help but feel that there's something missing. You mean the skull obsessed red fellow that would oh. finish off our little quartet? Yeah, yeah technically, well, yeah. I did actually, Foxy. You. What is happening? What is happening? This is insane. Great God. I know, right? <laughs> well, we have time for one last guest before the show's finale. And I bet you can all guess who that is. Give it up for Fabulous Bile, everyone! Oh yeah, it's the guy. Alright. None of you guys know. The hustle I'm bringing here today. <laughs> he is a hustler. My shit is top notch. See, I've decided that I'm going to do a solo Black Crusade. Oh, I'm sure it would. That would be interesting. Really? Not going to help Abaddon? Fuck that pussy ass <laughs> bitch. You know? I don't need him. He needs me. Well, I mean. I guess it's not like you're short of super soldiers to bring along, right? Oh no, I ain't doing that. Pardon? What are you gonna- I did say this was a solo- You're gonna do it by yourself, people. completely? I'm doing this shit by myself. Okay, man. Okay, time out for a second. The dick are you talking about right now? <laughs> Bitch, <laughs> I could clone anyone. That, that wasn't what I- 
In fact, just to prove Did you already clone point, him? Ladies and motherfuckers, <laughs> hey for your at, well, at least, at least he said ladies. At least he said ladies. <laughs> <laughs> also, I don't know who Sly Marbo is, but um, I'm sure there's a video. We'll go back and watch it right after this one. I don't know Sly Marbo. I think these got, I watched these a touch out of order. But don't worry, we'll catch up. We'll catch up. <laughs> ladies. At least they, at least he said ladies. Your eyes is adamant 2.0. Oh. Hey, you leave me out of this shit. Oh my. Oh. Oh. No, stop that. I didn't make you hear it. Don't talk to a son like that. You Ooh, want this what? Jerk. Oh my god. Okay, we need to talk about this shit you're doing. <laughs> it's getting out of hand. It kind of is out of hand. Memories. Why would you do it like that? That was a mistake. That was a mistake. Oh my gosh. <laughs> They're watching it all together. It's a watch party. I remember you daring me to watch it as a test of my faith in the Mad Emperor. Uh, and now we're all just kind of watching it. I, do I like how they're all on the bean now bags. All... He's got like a red bean bag. He's got a white bean bag. Door is like laying down. I've always wanted to get one of those giant bean bags, like the big ones that are like six feet across and like sleep in one. Like that would be like the best nap spot because you can like bundle yourself up like a little nest. Ah. But I like, I want, now that I see Dorn on this giant beanbag, I, I like imagine that it's like a massive beanbag chair that he has to sit in. Um, like that just sounds, that sounds lovely. It, it, this is just, oh my gosh, that looks so nice. I'll just kind of watching it. I do not actually know how to feel about this program. I know how to feel it about be it. The most chucklesome thing I have watched since this text-to-speech device was installed into my face. It has He's actually projecting it out of his eye. I love that. relentless sobbing noises that always happens on this day of all days. Suffice to say, I am absolutely disgusted Aww. with myself. He misses his son. And how does one watch? In addition, oh does my. the piece of this show enjoy cyberdoms? Most likely, I suspect. Well, it's certainly amusing to see these heretical fools flounder around like complete imbeciles and get blown up, amongst other things. I am not amused. I knew it. I only just learned that you could be amused at all, <laughs> so that does not surprise me. I am slightly infuriated. Hold the fuck up. You can feel two whole emotions Whoa. Now for you. And what have you done to my rogue? <laughs> my rogue. <Rokel. laughs> he only has one emotion at a time. But surely nothing to get angry about. I personally think it's hilarious. No. The enemies of man have had every single. He just. No. No explanation. No. No. Hollow video station in the galaxy and broadcasted this stupid show on every single frequency, compromising centuries of imperial secrecy about chaos to the mass populations. I'd say that's a pretty good reason to be upset right now. The Emperor said you he wasn't correct, gonna do smoke and mirrors, also, though. No, that is not why I am angry. Then why? Because that man with a high pitched voice keeps breaking desks. <laughs> <laughs> he is breaking perfectly formed wooden furniture for no It's the furniture! It's a cheap slapstick joke. That is something I cannot <laughs> forgive. Yes, you cannot forgive over people breaking desks. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, I honestly, Dorian is my... Second favorite TTS character to Kitten. I, I, I think so. Pretty great. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> the 
Then why are you still watching? Because you have snacks. Yes. And they are delicious. Mmm, yes. I love a good snack. Tomboys and fat boys. I <laughs> this far into the show. <laughs> We're nearly to its end. And I haven't even explained what we intended to do with this show. It's been a mess. See, half of you guys out there will be celebrating a holiday. While the other half is probably... <laughs> Aside from the few of you who are as fucked as my friend here and caught on by now. While you loyalists are celebrating the death of a fabulous no. child, us chaos worshippers have, for the most no, I'm part, sad. been left without an equivalent <clears throat> event. And so, Very sad, rip. to leave our own mock- Rip my glorious golden hawk boy. I'm very sad about it. Very sad. I'll recover. Basically, we're gonna make you a loyalist fox a deal. You get one day, one day each year that we don't terrorize oh. and annihilate your mind so well, that's very and considerate. Wise. And in return we expect the fucking same. Don't get okay, me wrong. okay. We're not expecting kisses and fucking hugs and don't worry. No, I'm not hugging you. Why don't we address the groks in the room? The groks. We're all fucking human. Except for maybe Lucius for the there. Part. And the problem is that things like these still exist. So are we like coming together to kill all the Xenos? Good idea. Good idea. Xenos! Purge them! Problems that we as a species have to deal with eventually. Yes. So let's use this day each year to come together as a species and the aliens! No, no, don't do that. Don't do that. No, don't. They mean two different things. He actually wants to get with them. Armin wants to remove them. Those are two very different things. Two very different things, chat. <laughs> That's two different things. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Let's celebrate what unites us. Let's go on a... <laughs> that sounds so bad out of context, but it makes sense in the context. <laughs> I'm gonna listen to that again because that's really that's really funny. <laughs> Oh no. Oh my gosh, they're singing. Oh my gosh. Yes, of course you do. <laughs> of course this you do. The culmination of a show has come to a close. Now I can go back to saying sob repeatedly. No! People will actually go along with this crazy No! no. My poor emperor. Wait, no. didn't Sanguinella end like three months ago? There you go. Wow. That was so cursed. This is so curse. Yeah, I wonder if they have a full song. I, I I'm a little worried. <laughs>